Hi, I'm Rob Dancer, and today we're going to cover the basic installation of a home theater system. Besides the components, items you will need include speaker wire, 16 gauge or heavier preferred, HDMI cables, or other suitable audio video cables. Please allow approximately 30 minutes for the basic installation. However, this time may vary greatly depending on the complexity of your system. In a typical 5.1 surround sound speaker system, you want to have the two front speakers on either side of the TV at approximately ear level when in your viewing position. The center speaker can go above or below the TV. These speakers are mounted to the wall and connected with wires that are run through the wall. You can also purchase wireless speakers in more advanced systems. The subwoofer can be placed anywhere in a room that provides the best acoustics. For this setup here, we found that the subwoofer placed behind the TV and in the corner provided the best acoustics available for the room. When connecting your speakers, it is advisable to use at least 16 gauge wire or thicker. On the back of the speaker, you'll find two terminals, one red, one black. The red represents positive and the black represents negative. On all speaker wires, they will have one of the wires with a stripe on it. That stripe can be either placed on the positive or negative terminal. However, if you place the stripe wire on the positive terminal of the speaker, you'll also have to place the stripe wire on the positive terminal of the receiver. In this installation, we've made it a little bit easier by labeling all the wires. That way we can easily tell which wire goes to what component. The receiver will act as a hub in your home theater system. In this installation, we have the cable box and the DVD player connected to the receiver using HDMI cables plugged into the HDMI in ports. We have a HDMI out port that goes to the monitor and this HDMI cable connects to the TV. If your TV or receiver are older and they do not have HDMI ports, your next best option would be to use the component video cables commonly identified by the green, blue, and red terminals. The last part of the installation is to go in and configure your settings. This particular receiver allows you to make the settings using your TV monitor. We'll go into the setup menu, select speaker setup, select speaker configuration, and ensure that we have all the proper speakers listed. We can further make any adjustments to the base setting, distance, channel level, or crossover frequency. Additionally, if available with your receiver, you can perform a test of the surround sound system to ensure that all speakers are operating at the proper levels. Most TVs today come in the widescreen format, so you also want to go in your TV settings and ensure that you have the proper size selected. For the widescreen, you want to use 16-9 ratio. Additionally, if there are any resolution settings available on your TV, you want to set it to the maximum resolution available. That will typically be 1080p or 720p. These are two high definition resolutions commonly available today. After you finish your installation, it's time to sit back, relax, and enjoy your favorite show.